Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Fritz II and Garry Kasparov. This game was played in Germany in 1992. Fritz II had white pieces and he started with e4. Garry Kasparov played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, g6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop to g7. Kasparov is playing accelerated dragon. He didn't play d6, he wants to play d5 at the right time. Bishop to e3, knight to f6, and now knight takes knight on c6, b takes on c6, e5, black to move. Kasparov played knight to g8. Sometimes black plays knight to d5, then white plays knight takes knight, black takes the knight with a pawn, Queen takes on d5, attacking the rook. Rook to b8. Bishop to c4 is a very popular move. And then black casts king side. In this variation, black sacrificed a pawn for the activity of the pieces. Kasparov played knight to g8. f4, defending the pawn. Knight to h6. Queen to d2. Kasparov castled kingside and Fritz castled queenside. This is a very important moment of the game. On the surface, it looks like that black can't play d6 because black is losing a pawn. Kasparov knew his accelerated dragon variation. He played d6. E takes on d6, e takes on d6, queen takes on d6, queen takes queen, rook takes queen. Indeed, white won a pawn, but now black pieces come to life. Knight to f5, forking the rook and the bishop. Rook to d3, bishop to a6, attacking the rook. How to save the rook? How to save the bishop on e3? Bishop to c5. Rook for rook. Bishop takes on d3. Bishop takes on f8. Bishop takes on f1. Bishop takes on g7. Bishop takes on g2. Rook to g1. Bishop to f6. Bishop takes rook. So rook to g1. King takes bishop on g7. Rook takes on g2. Rook to b8. The dust has settled a little bit, and black is standing slightly better. Rook to e2 was played. Black to move. Kasparu played rook to h8. Rook to b4 comes to mind. It looks like a natural move, attacking the pawn. On f4, perhaps after rook to f2, king to f6, and black is slightly better. Kasparov played rook to h8. This looks very strange at first, but it is a deep move. b3, h5, king to b2, h4, h3. If a3, perhaps black can play h3. Perhaps doesn't have to. So, Fritz played h3. Now rook to d8. Knight to e4, and now knight to g3. Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, rook to g2, rook to d4. Rook takes on g3, rook takes on f4. Rook to c3, attacking the pawn. On c6, how would you defend the pawn? Perhaps Rook to f6 comes to mind. Do you agree? Kasparov played rook to h4. This required some deep calculations. Perhaps Kasparov 
worked it out to the end. The game continued. Rook takes on c6, rook takes on h3. Rook to a6, g5. Rook takes pawn on a7, g4. a4. If rook to a4, then a5. So Fritz played a4. g3, rook to a5, threatening rook to g5 check. If g2, then white wins the pawn. So Kasparov played rook to h6, rook to g5, check, rook to g6, rook takes pawn on g3, rook takes rook, c4, f5, b4, f4, king to c2, and Fritz resigned. One line goes like this, rook to e3, king to d2, rook to e8, b5, f3, b6, f2, b7, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. And I guess we can stop here. And let's go back to the start. In this position, black does not play d6. Black plays g6. After d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4. Bishop to g7, bishop to e3, knight to f6. In the game we have knight takes knight on c6. This was an attempt to refute the accelerated dragon. If white plays f3, black castles kingside, and after queen to d2, black plays d5. Not giving white time to play bishop to h6 and h4, h5 move. This is just a simple game. I recommend for you to buy the Accelerated Dragon DVD by GM Damian Lemus. That way you will have a complete system of how to play against white's e4 move. Imagine yourself winning with black pieces. The Accelerated Dragon DVD by GM Damian Lemus is at half price for a short time only. Please click on the link below the video and download your copy right now.